Please use subtitle translation to select desired language. Magnesium deficiency can lead to a variety of signs and symptoms, reflecting its critical role in many bodily functions. Here are some common signs of magnesium deficiency. 1. Muscle cramps and spasms. Frequent muscle cramps, spasms, or twitching, particularly in the legs. 2. Fatigue and weakness. A general sense of fatigue, low energy, or muscle weakness can indicate low magnesium levels. 3. Nausea and vomiting. Digestive issues such as nausea, vomiting, or loss of appetite may occur. 4. Abnormal heart rhythms. Low magnesium can lead to arrhythmias or irregular heartbeats, which can be serious. 5. Tingling or numbness. Some individuals may experience tingling sensations or numbness, especially in the extremities. 6. Mood changes. Magnesium deficiency has been linked to mood disorders, including anxiety, irritability, and depression. 7. Bone health issues. Long-term deficiency can contribute to decreased bone density and an increased risk of osteoporosis. 8. High blood pressure. Low magnesium levels may lead to increased blood pressure, potentially contributing to cardiovascular issues. 9. Headaches and migraines. Some studies suggest that magnesium deficiency may be linked to an increased frequency of migraines and tension headaches. 10. Sleep disturbances. Difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep may be associated with low magnesium levels. 11. Loss of appetite. A decreased appetite can be an early sign of magnesium deficiency. 12. Skin issues. Deficiency may contribute to skin problems, such as eczema or other inflammatory conditions. 13. Constipation. Magnesium plays a role in muscle contractions in the digestive tract. A deficiency can lead to slowed bowel movements and constipation. 14. Impaired cognitive function. Some studies suggest that low magnesium levels can lead to difficulties with memory, attention, and overall cognitive decline. 15. Cravings for chocolate or nuts. Some people with magnesium deficiency may experience cravings for magnesium-rich foods, such as chocolate or nuts. 16. Severe menstrual cramps. Women may experience more intense menstrual cramps or PMS symptoms, as magnesium helps regulate hormonal balance. 17. Changes in heart health. Besides arrhythmias, magnesium deficiency can contribute to higher cholesterol levels and increased risk of heart disease. Magnesium supplements come in several forms, each with different properties, benefits, and absorption rates. Here's an overview of the most common forms of magnesium supplements. 1. Magnesium citrate. Well absorbed and commonly used for improving digestion and relieving constipation. Often recommended for general supplementation and digestive health. 2. Magnesium glycinate. Highly bioavailable and less likely to cause gastrointestinal discomfort. It's known for its calming effects. Often used to promote relaxation and improve sleep quality. 3. Magnesium oxide. Contains a high percentage of elemental magnesium but has lower bioavailability. Often used as a laxative and for treating heartburn. 4. Magnesium malate. Well absorbed and may help with energy production and muscle function. Often recommended for individuals with fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome. 5. Magnesium taurate. Supports cardiovascular health and helps regulate blood pressure. Often used for heart health and overall relaxation. 6. Magnesium chloride. A highly bioavailable form of magnesium. Sometimes used for detoxification and muscle relaxation. 7. Magnesium threonate. Known for its ability to penetrate the blood-brain barrier, enhancing cognitive function. Often marketed for brain health and memory support. Summary of considerations Bioavailability. Some forms are better absorbed than others. For example, magnesium citrate and glycinate are typically more bioavailable than magnesium oxide. Gastrointestinal tolerance. Some forms can cause digestive upset. Magnesium glycinate is often better tolerated than magnesium oxide. Specific needs. 
Choose a form based on individual health goals, such as relaxation, glycinate, digestive health, citrate, or cardiovascular support, taurate. The recommended dosage of magnesium can vary based on factors such as age, sex, health status, and specific health needs. Here's a general guideline for daily magnesium intake. Adults men, 19 to 30 years, 400 mg per day men, 31 years and older, 420 mg per day women, 19 to 30 years, 310 mg per day women, 31 years and older, 320 mg per day children 1 to 3 years, 80 mg per day 4 to 8 years, 130 mg per day 9 to 13 years, 240 mg per day 14 to 18 years, boys, 410 mg per day 14 to 18 years, girls, 360 mg per day. Anxiety and stress, 200 to 400 mg of magnesium glycinate or magnesium torrent per day. Sleep disorders, 200 to 400 mg of magnesium glycinate or magnesium threonate taken before bedtime. Muscle cramps and spasms, 300 to 600 mg of magnesium citrate or magnesium glycinate per day. Digestive issues, constipation, 250 to 500 mg of magnesium citrate. Chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia, 300 to 600 mg of magnesium malate per day. Cardiovascular health, 200 to 500 mg of magnesium torrate or magnesium chloride per day. Migraines, 400 to 600 mg of magnesium citrate or magnesium oxide per day. Bone health, 300 to 400 mg of magnesium per day. Asthma, 300 to 600 mg of magnesium threonate. Pregnancy and lactation, 350 mg per day for pregnant women and 310 mg per day for lactating women. While magnesium supplements can be beneficial for many people, they can also cause side effects. 1. Gastrointestinal issues. Taking too much magnesium can lead to nausea and vomiting. Some forms of magnesium, especially magnesium citrate and magnesium oxide, may cause diarrhea. Some individuals may experience stomach cramps or discomfort. 2. Drowsiness or lethargy. High doses of magnesium can lead to excessive drowsiness or a feeling of lethargy, which may affect daily activities. 3. Low blood pressure. Magnesium has a relaxing effect on blood vessels, which can lead to hypotension, low blood pressure, if taken in large amounts. 4. Irregular heartbeat. Excessive magnesium can cause irregular heart rhythms, arrhythmias, particularly in individuals with pre-existing heart conditions. 5. Muscle weakness. High magnesium levels may lead to muscle weakness or a feeling of heaviness in the limbs. 6. Kidney issues. In individuals with kidney disease, excess magnesium can accumulate and lead to serious complications. 7. Drug interactions. Magnesium can interact with certain medications, such as antibiotics and diuretics, potentially reducing their effectiveness or increasing side effects. 8. Allergic reactions. Although rare, some people may experience an allergic reaction to magnesium supplements, leading to symptoms such as rash, itching, or difficulty breathing. While magnesium supplements can be beneficial for many people, certain individuals should exercise caution or avoid them altogether. Here are some groups who should consider avoiding magnesium supplements. 1. Individuals with kidney disease. The kidneys are responsible for regulating magnesium levels in the body. People with impaired kidney function may be unable to excrete excess magnesium, leading to toxicity. 2. Those with heart conditions. Excess magnesium can affect heart rhythm and may exacerbate certain heart conditions. 3. People taking certain medications. Magnesium can interact with several medications, including antibiotics, diuretics and heart medications. 4. Individuals with gastrointestinal disorders. Conditions like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, or other gastrointestinal issues may affect magnesium absorption and metabolism. 5. People with myasthenia gravis. 
Magnesium can exacerbate muscle weakness in individuals with this autoimmune condition. 6. Those with severe dehydration. Magnesium supplementation can lead to further electrolyte imbalances in the presence of severe dehydration. 7. Pregnant or nursing women without consultation. It is important for pregnant or nursing women to consult a healthcare provider before starting any supplements to determine the appropriate dosage. 8. Individuals with allergies to magnesium compounds. Important considerations consult a healthcare provider. Always consult a healthcare provider before starting magnesium supplementation, especially for specific health conditions. Monitor tolerance. Start with lower doses and gradually increase as needed, paying attention to how your body responds. This video is intended to provide health information. If you have a medical condition, please seek professional advice. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. Your support is my biggest motivation.